In this video, we're going to look at constructing a square. Now, this is going to be one of the hardest constructions that you're going to be asked to do, most likely, okay? So, um, it's pretty straightforward. We want to construct a square. That's what we've got going on here, all right? Um, let me switch to a, to a line something that looks a little better. Okay, so that's gonna work for us. Um, actually, let me get you one that looks, that's great. Okay, that's gonna work really well for us. So what we've got is we've got this original line RS or this line segment RS, and that's going to be one side of the square, okay? What we need is four more blue segments to finish this square, um, finish the construction. So let me show you kind of, um, this is kind of a straightforward way. It's a kind of a lot of work, but it, it's the way that we can go about constructing a square. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to take our line tool, and the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to extend this line RS, okay, because we actually need to do some work on both sides. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do our perpendicular through a point on a line. That construction, we're going to do it twice. If you need to, go back to my other video on how to do a perpendicular line through a point on a line um, to refresh yourself if you need some help on this topic. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a perpendicular line through R. We're going to make a perpendicular line through S. I'm going to have them going down this direction. I have a little more space that way, but you could potentially move them up this direction. Then once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that that segment is uh, the same length as RS, and then that will get me my square. So let's go ahead, and we're going to move a little bit uh, slower on the first one, uh, but then we'll pick up the pace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make two arcs on this line like this. Okay, that gets me two equal sections. And then from here, remember I do need to, let me uh, go this way, so that way I can this guy. I do need to make this a little bit larger than before, okay? And what I'm going to do, again, since I'm going down this way, I could do it up this way if I want to. Since I'm going down this way, I'm gonna go ahead and make an arc here and then also make an arc here. Remember, if your compass moves uh, between these two at any time, you do need, do need to go back and reset your compass, make sure it's the same length for both of these, or else you're not going to, you're gonna waste a lot of time is basically what's gonna happen. All right, uh, and what I'm going to do at this point um, is I'm just gonna go ahead and make a ray uh, through here. So I know that this second line is somewhere along this ray. Uh, I know this is perpendicular. I know I'm, I'm taking my square this way. So that's a ray through this point right here. That, that at least gets me going in the right direction. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing over here. Now be careful not to get yourself confused um, when you're doing this. So I'm gonna actually make this a little bit shorter. Notice the arcs kind of point into the place where the circle was made, the center of the circle. So do be careful that you don't get yourself confused with your other arcs if they're overlapping or things like that. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so we can kind of keep ourselves contained here. Same thing as before, I'm gonna drag this out. I'm gonna go ahead, expand my circle, make some equal crossing marks here. This. Okay, and again, I'm going to make a ray. So now I've got one side, and then I've got two sides. I don't have the right length, but I at least have the right size, or we at least have the right direction. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, take my compass, and I'm gonna stretch it out the length of this segment. And that's going to tell me how long uh, this leg is going to be. If this is the radius of the circle, this radius over here is gonna be the same length. So I've got that one right there. And then the same thing over here, okay? I'm gonna take this, put that mark here. This construction really is a combination of several previous constructions. We've got the perpendicular lines through a point on the line, and then we also, this is actually just our, ang you, this, you can think of this as an extension of your copy of segment construction. If you're struggling with this construction, again, I would really encourage you to go back and do some practice on some of the earlier constructions. So now notice that we want to finish with four blue line segments. So I'm going to take my segments from R to this point here and S to this point here. And now that I have three of the sides, I just need to connect them and that should get me my square. So 
It's a little bit complicated, but it works, okay? You do need to make sure that you stay organized so you don't get confused. And this is one of the harder constructions, okay? So if, if you don't get it on the first try, they do have the step-by-step -step walkthrough um, if you need it here on Delta Math. Uh, but hopefully this was helpful. Feel free to, to leave a comment if you need help on this or if you want to see any other constructions. But this is doing construction, constructing a square through Delta Math.